Deborah Capriaglio is an Italian actress. Internationally, she is best known for playing the title character in the 1991 film Paprika by Tinto Brass and a relationship with Klaus Kinski from 1987-1989. In 2007, she took part in the Italian version of the reality show Celebrity Survivor. Deborah Capriaglio started in 1988, and she is active till now. These are my best 10 movies for Deborah Capriaglio. At number 7. Grandi Cacciatori, 1988. Grandi Cacciatori is a 1988 Italian adventure film directed by Augusto Caminito and starring Klaus Kinski. After the murder of a young biologist who has filmed the brutal slaughter of white seal pups in the Arctic, a fellow biologist enlists the help of one particular hunter, and then a second to find the killer. The man's wife is killed by a panther, his only reason to live becomes revenge, which slowly consumes him. At number 6. La Finestra de Alice, 2013. Gabriel, an aspiring writer full of debt, spends his days spying on the beautiful neighbor Alice from the window. Unable to bear the expenses for the luxurious apartment he inherited, the young man decides to rent a room to the Spaniard Fabio. The coexistence between the two turns out to be rather complicated, because the boys often clash due to great differences in character, but shortly afterward a murder occurs in Alice's palace, and Fabio becomes the main suspect. At number 5. Albergo Roma, 1996. Albergo Roma in English Hotel Rome is a 1996 Italian comedy film directed by Hugo Chidi. It was screened at the 53rd Venice International Film Festival, in which Chidi won the Kodak Award. In a small village in Tuscany, in 1939, all the people are looking forward to Mussolini's official visit. The deuce will inaugurate the village's primary school. Unexpectedly the corpse of a murdered baby is found. All the inhabitants will do their best to delay the visit and hide the murder. At number 4. St. Tropez, St. Tropez, 1992. The Scheiper Lugi, in love with his beautiful cousin Eleonora, is a guest on his yacht, and is willing to do anything for her, even to hire a stripper, Marco, whom the woman has fallen in love with for one night, but the young man is loyal to his girlfriend Emilia, who is desperately looking for the money to marry him, and buy a house. The couple will be able to get many millions, by resorting to a stratagem, they make Eleonora believe, that Marco will spend the night with her, only if the two are blindfolded, but in reality, it is Perlugi who will find himself together with his cousin in the eventful meeting. However, the two relatives will not mind the situation and they will vent their desires with a sadomasochistic relationship. At number 3. The Smile of the Fox, 1992. Mark, a hitman haunted by his past as a corrupt Miami cop, and the death of his wife and son, prepares for his next killing. Gradually he becomes fascinated by the beautiful prostitute who lives in the next apartment and they embark on a passionate affair. At number 2. Kinski Paganini, 1989. Kinski Paganini, also known simply as Paganini, is a 1989 Italian-French biographical film written, directed by, and starring Klaus Kinski. The story is based on the life and career of composer and virtuoso violinist Niccolo Paganini. It was Kinski's final film before his death in 1991. Klaus Kinski believed that he lived through the same experiences as the legendary devil violinist Niccolo Paganini, who set all of 19th century Europe into a frenzy, and through whose personality Kinski offers an incredibly profound and honest insight into his own life, a life of extremities. At number 1. Paprika, 1991. In 1950s Italy, just before the ban of brothels, Mima, an inexperienced country girl, reluctantly accepts to work as a prostitute. And, just like that, the once innocent woman becomes Paprika, in high hopes of raising enough money to finance her good-for-nothing boyfriend. Before long, Paprika will learn to enjoy her disreputable, but very profitable occupation, working her way up, one client at a time, as she journeys from one brothel to another in the bustling city of Rome. However, despite Paprika's stormy, but prosperous voyage of self-discovery, experience, and sexual liberation, there is still one thing missing in her seemingly full life, unearthing the great mystery of true love. Worthy mentioned three movies. Love Story with Cramps, 1995. Love Story with Cramps concocts light, but agreeable romantic comedy out of a woman's furious quest to win back the man who dumped her. The Devil's Veil, 1989. 
A group of skiers on the Swiss Alps fall into a chasm open during an avalanche, which kills one of them named Bebo, played by Michelle Sovi, who can't seem to get away from any movies in the Demons series. With Closed Eyes, 1994. The film deals with Italian manifestations of patriarchal society, the historical setting at the turn of the previous century, and its specific problems for women living outside the protected confines of the family. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and always stay tuned.